you asking me to believe that there's not one girl in all of Boonesboro you can take on a picnic? Correct. Boy, as handsome as you are? Cut it out, Gabe. Boy, can dance like you can dance, Israel? I didn't have anything to do with it. Things haven't changed that much since I was a boy. Maybe so. The fact is, none of the girls that go with me. Do you ever crack your head to try to figure out why? For a while there, I thought it's because I smelled bad. So I took two baths. Didn't change a thing. You know, that was the time you smelled mostly of skunk. I know. I can stop carrying around snakes for a while. Yeah. Hey, Gabe! Mr. Uh, uh, Schmidt. Arthur Schmidt. Where'd you get those dogs? Dogs? Those black dogs. I don't know. Listen, mister, I gotta find out about those dogs, where they came from. Somewhere uh, on the road to Williamsville. Yeah, yeah, from a boy. We bought them. Where at on the road to Williamsville? Well, now, what difference does it make, Gabe? Where? Hey, Gabe! Will you take it easy, Gabe? Freedom, Ipsham. Show the man the dog. My mama, and I'm going, Boone. So you've been saying, Gabe, but... And I'm going. It's been years. Anybody could have made those dolls. Uh-uh. Not anybody. Just my mama. And you still don't know where she is. Here's your car, meal, Gabe. Are you encouraging him? Well, looks like he's already made up his mind. They said they bought those dolls from a boy on the Marriott Plantation, just past Williamsville. And I'm betting that's where my mama is at. You can't go walking through slave country. When I was 12 years old, they took my mama one way and me another. I swore that if I ever found out where she was, I was going to come for her. All right, say so you find her. Then what? You're going to need some help. You're going to need money and furs, and I'm going to go with you. I don't need nobody's help to do this. Well, you're getting it whether you want it or not. Yes, a big man With an eye like an eagle And as tall as a mountain was he Daniel Boone was a man Yes, a big man He was brave, he was fearless And as tough as a mighty oak tree From the coonskin cap On the top of old And to the heel of his raw high shoe The rippin'est, roarin'est, fightin'est man the frontier ever knew. Daniel Boone was a man, yes, a big man. And he fought for America to make all Americans free. Daniel Boone. Want to stop, rest a while? Howdy. Mr. Teddy. Well, howdy. Uh, welcome to the Dixon Plantation. Cuffy, uh, go get us a jug of cider. Yes, sir, Mr. Teddy. Well, now, it's a... Uh... It's not quite a plantation yet, as, as you can see, but one day, yes, sir, one day. I'm Teddy Dixon. I'm Donald Boone, Gabe Cooper. Well, now, you're our first visitor. Hey, Master Boone, why don't you take off your pack and come on inside our humble home and have some cider? Well, thank you. Uh, Cuffy, take Master Boone's man around behind the barn and let him rest his feet. Spend. Yes, sir, Mr. Teddy. I'm a free man. Mm. Oh, I, I see. Well, why don't y'all 
Come on up on the on the porch, uh, and 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 rest a spell. Well, I could stand to rest a spell. Come on, Gabe. Get on now, Cuffy, and finish that sawing, or we're never going to get to be no big, rich plantation. Yes, sir, Mr. Pettit. Where you headed? Oh, Williamsville. That's a long hike from here. My wife's family's from near there. Yeah, she's off today with Cuffy's wife and kids to proceed to see her daddy, Dr. Ramsey. I guess everybody must know Dr. Randolph Ramsey. Yeah, you must have heard of him if you travel these parts. Ramsey? Oh, can't say that. Where are you from? Ten days from here, through the Cumberland Gap. Oh, I see. Yeah, so you're a free man. Don't see many of those. No, oh, sir. Every once in a while, a runaway, maybe. But not many a free man. You know, you want to be sure and have your free man papers with you when you make your way toward Williamsville. You'll, uh, you'll have to show them along the road for sure. Did your master uh, set you free, or did you buy yourself? Why? Well, I'm just curious, that's all. Now, I was thinking, uh, you'd have had to have hold of a lot of money. A whole lot. I mean, you being as, as big and as valuable as you are. Hey, now, what, what's your hurry? Well, like you say, it's a long walk. I don't guess you'd want to stay here and give us a hand clearing this land. It'd be safe here. Safe? What's to be safe from? Well, I grew up on a plantation, Mr. Boone. We had 20, sometimes 30 slaves, always. I know black folks. Yes, sir, now this buck, he's no free man. Not the way he acts. When he's got no papers either, I'd say. Now, if I was going to venture a guess, just a guess, mind you, I'd, uh, I'd say he's a runaway. You sure we've been drinking from the same cider jug? Hey, now, look, never mind what I just said. Forget that. I, the truth is, well, this land, it, darn it, is too much for Cuffy and me. Plain and simple, we need help. Man, of your size, well, well, we could get this land cleared in time for spring planting. Now, now what do you say? I'll pay wages, regular wages. I don't work nowhere where they keep slaves. How did he know I wasn't a free man? Just a wild shot's my guess. Think he's gonna make any trouble? You got it. It's be like you had enough to do just tending this farm. But there's gonna be others. You've been free too long to remember how they expect you to act and talk. I say amen and hallelujah to that. What? I wonder if my mom gonna remember her youngest. One of these days somebody's gonna demand to see your free man. Wait till you man. see what she cook up for us to eat. You just wait. Are you listening? When does she know where my brothers are? They're gonna find out you're a runaway and they're gonna put you back in the chains. And my sister, Minnie. Gabe. Wouldn't it be something if we could all get together again? Now you listen, what is Boom? I ain't gonna never be safe wandering around this country. Unless I started dragging my feet and hang my head down and started calling everybody Mazza. And I ain't never gonna do that no more, Boom. <laughs> Amen to that. Amen. Good day to you. Howdy. 
<laughs> Good thing you stopped here. <laughs> Otherwise, I had to go after you. Oh, yes, the toll. How much is it? Six pence for you, three pence your slave. That's cheap enough, the price, considering the time the bridge saves. That's what's important, the time that we save. <laughs> you charge you more for how big he is. You always work these men in chains? A runaway slaves, we call it. You uh, interested in buying one of them? Much obliged. <laughs> Gabe. Gotta be better than all right. Gotta be happy when I greet my mama. Come on, I'm all right. Gabe, what if your mama isn't at the Marriott Plantation? What if we can't find her? Why are you saying this? Because things could happen that way. It won't. But what if it does? If she's not there at the Marriott Plantation, they know where she's gone to. We'll go there. But if something has happened, she has passed away. I want you to get back to Boonesboro right fast with me. I don't want you to get into any trouble now. I want you to promise me that. She's not there for whatever reason. You best be going back to Boonesboro. Ain't making no promises, Bill. Boy. Where's everybody? Who you want? The man what runs this plantation. What's his name? Captain Marriott? That's right. Dead. Long gone to the devil, I hear say. What's your name, sir? Manuel Carruthers, sir. What happened to all the slaves that worked here, Emmanuel? I'm looking for Rachel, you hear? Rachel! Yeah. Rachel! Rachel? She's still here, boss. Where is she? Round back, boss. She, she be out the old, boss. That's sickly. What do you want her for? I can't believe 
I'm seeing you. You are, Mama. You're going to keep on seeing me for a long time. Yeah, my son is here with me. You're here with me. We're going to take you back with us, Mama. What? Mama, I came to buy you. To buy you free from this plantation. Bless. Bless you, dear boy. But save you first for better things. How is that, Mama? No use fooling. I can't do reading. <laughs> Neither can I. But this says I'm a free soul. This one, this says I'm a free soul. Daniel? Mama, this is Daniel Boone. He came with me to get you. Pleased to meet you, Mama Cooper. I'm pleased and proud to meet you, sir. Mama says she's been made a free woman. You're a reader. Know ye by those present who have so fixed their honorable signatures below that the slave, Rachel, being the property of Captain Josiah Lemuel Marriott, is hereby and herewith made a free woman by the provisions of the last will and testament of said Captain Josiah Lemuel Marriott. It goes on for a bit, and it's signed with us, official and all of that. You are a powerful good reader, boss. Well, that was easy. Those were pretty words. We came prepared to buy your freedom from Captain Marriott. Gabe told me. The good captain set us all free, just like he promised after he had gone. The good man who owned me, he said the same thing. Only I couldn't wait that long. You are a runaway. Hush on my boy. Never knew a real runaway before. You a hunted man, Gabe? No, Mama. Once we get to Boonesboro, it's safe there. What you doing? Nothing, ma'am. Get on home. Yes, sir. Think you're gonna blab to his mom about me? That child more black than white, even if his daddy is an overseer. Tomorrow before we leave, I'll have a talk with him. Must you go so soon? You're gonna go with us, Mama. Oh, no, child. I'm too old now. Too old for much but dying. You're coming, Mama. Gabe, I can't get out of this bed. Then we'll take the bed, too. I'm not going to let you stay here any longer. No. I've been sick for a long time. All the others, when they got the free man papers, they left the very same day. Since they auctioned off the place, I'm the only one that stayed. Gabe, I had a beautiful dream of dying on free land. Such a beautiful dream. Such a beautiful dream. Sleep, Mama. You just sleep.
for the last time she's gonna sleep in this place. You don't look so good to me, Gabe. Maybe it'd be better if you didn't move her for me. She'll be a whole lot better when we get away from this place. I was your son instead of Ma's. Why? Then I'd be as big as your boy. Instead of being skinnier like I'm being Ma's boy. Precious, you can't have everything. You got a pretty name, good teeth, and a good soul. You're a very, very good boy. Yes, sir. He is a fine, big man, ain't he? Good morning, son. Thank the Lord you found me, and I'm living to see you again. Good morning, Mama Cooper. Good morning. Well, I think maybe I better take these furs over and talk to Miss Carruthers about a horse and a wagon. Gabe, who is he? My friend, Daniel Boone. Why did he call me Mama Cooper? He called you Mama Cooper because my name is Cooper. I'm Gabe Cooper. Why did he call you Gabe Cooper? I remember a long time ago, you said my daddy was a Cooper. But that's what they call men who make barrels and tubs and such. I know. But when I ran off, people used to ask me, what's your name? I said, my name is Gabe. Being a free man, Mama, you can have another name. I'm the son of a Cooper, so? So, being your Ma, I'm just naturally Mama Cooper. That's who I am, Mama Cooper. No more just plain Rachel. Rachel Cooper, that's who I am. Rachel Cooper. <laughs> These furs will bring a mighty fine price in the city. And all we want is that old flatbed wagon over there and an old horse, and that will do just fine. I told you, I can't trade off nothing to Mr. Crothers without his agreement. And he won't be back for two or three days. Well, now, he'll be mighty proud and happy and richer, too, that you made such a good trade. Besides, Mr. Crothers only trades for cash money. Well, I'd have to say, man, that you are a mighty screwed trader. Which way are you heading with old Rachel? Why do you want to know? So as if Mr. Crothers comes back and gets it into his head to come and take that horse and wagon, he won't be able to find you. Are you going to tell him that we bought him or stole him? Well, I'll tell him that you bought him. 
That wouldn't stop him if he decided to come and take him away. We're heading west. place. I'm going where it's free, son. And you hush up your mouth, boy. Oh, I never thought I'd live to see the sun again. Praise the Lord. Goodbye, Rachel. What'd I tell you? I mean, Mrs. Cooper. That sounds more like it. Do it again. Mrs. Cooper. The whole thing this time, honey. Goodbye, Mrs. Cooper. God bless you. God bless you, Emmanuel. And you too, Mrs. Crothers. for a minute, please. Mom is acting awfully strange. First she seems restless, then she falls off into deep sleep. Maybe I better try and find a doctor. Go back as soon as I can.
Feeling better, Mama? Daniel went to get some help. He'll be back soon. Oh, I'm all right, son. I'm all right. Mama, when you were at that plantation, did they have a doctor caring for you? Doctor? <laughs> no doctors to care for poor old slaves. Son, you remember the hymn I used to sing for you when you was a little boy? Do, Lord, do, Lord, do, Lord, remember me. Do, Lord, do, Lord, do, Lord, remember me. Do, Lord, do, Lord. Do, Lord, remember me way beyond the blue. Okay, this is Dr. Ramsey. Thanks for coming, Doctor. He falls off to sleep all the time. I told him that. I can do about it. There's no medicine or nothing? Nothing. Dr. Ramsey, how long? I have no idea. Are you positive? Are you doubting my word? You made him come, didn't you? If he dies like he says, I'm going back to that plantation, I'm gonna burn it down. What good would that do? No good. Like they done my ma. No good. She was sick for a long time, and they just let her be sick. No medicine, no doctor, no nothing. Back city mall. How far to that land that's free, son? Just over hill. You swear? I do. Praise the blessed Lord. How are you feeling? Well, enough to see what's over that hill. You rest now. 
today, please, Lord, let this wagon go over just a few bumps instead of every one of them on the road. Sound like you're feeling better already, huh? I'm sure, Mama. Praise God. Praise God. Is that water down there on God's free land? Yes, Mama. Maybe we go out to rest here a bit. I'll unhitch the horse. How does that sound, Mama? Fine. Just fine. Can we get you something to eat? Nothing. I don't want nothing but a preacher and a drink of that pure, beautiful, free water down there. Mama. That's all I need. You'll be just fine as soon as we get you to Boonesboro. Oh, sir. When you lifted me in this wagon, I plain nearly died. And I nearly died for sure that first day on the road. Mama. I can't hold a life much longer. But don't worry. Don't worry, son. It's all right. I'm happy. You found me again. Praise the Lord. We're together. You give me a last name. And I'm free. And on free land. Maybe she's just tired, not rightly knowing what she's feeling. Maybe we should just go until we can get her to Boonesboro. Then? Gabe, she hadn't got much time. We better try and get a preacher. She wants a drink of free water. I won't be long. Anything I can get you, ma'am? Nothing, sir. But I want to preach, man. I'll go as soon as Gabe gets back. Miss Cooper, Gabe has sworn to go back to that plantation where you lived and burn it to the ground. Why? Because he thinks they should have had a doctor to look after you. But a doctor wouldn't make no difference. I wish you'd tell him that. Make him swear not to go back and do that. I swear. I'll tell him. I'll tell him. 
Gabe. Gabe. He's going down to get you some water. Tell him, dear Lord, help me to remember. Tell him, sir, sir, please get me a preacher, man. Yes, ma'am. She's asleep now. I'll be back with the preacher if there's one about. I get called all hours these days. Had to make special arrangement with Justice of the Peace Pritchard. I was going back and forth on his toll road so much, all my money was going for tolls. Hey, this woman, has she been sickly long? Yes, sir. Well, old age gets to all of us in the end. Uh, where's she from? A uh, plantation over near Williamsville. Well, what plantation would that be? I'm known up that way and further. Marriott, sir. Oh, not Mrs. Carruthers. Uh, no, sir, it's a woman named Rachel Cooper. Cooper? We better go right away, sir. I was called over there to lay old Mr. Marriott to rest. You know, that was a fine funeral. Though some folks thought he lost his senses before he died, giving freedom to his slaves the way he did. I imagine they did, sir. What'd you say that name was again? Cooper. Wasn't no Cooper on the Marriott plantation. Unless... Uh... If we don't go right away, Reverend. This woman is dying. She wouldn't be a negress, would she? Yes, sir. Well, sir, I cannot go with you. I, I cannot minister to this poor woman. Why not? Well, sir, if I was to minister to a negro, my congregation would never set foot in this church again. <laughs> Where's the preacher? He wouldn't come. Where is he? I'll go get him. I'll make him come. Gabe, what would it mean if you forced him? Now forget it. He gave me this. I'll read for your mama. No preacher here, is there? No, ma'am. But Daniel has the preacher's Bible. Oh, Lord. I'll read to you from the Bible, ma'am. Stay by my side, Gabe. I'll be your mama. Writings of John, if you please, sir. Yes, ma'am. Game. Game. I'm here, Mama. Don't go back there. Don't ever go back where I've been. Swear, Gabe. I want you to swear. I swear, Mama. Oh, God bless you. God bless you. I'm cold. I'm cold. 
warm me. Please warm me, dear God. I want to feel. I want to feel warm again. That which was from the beginning, which we have heard, which we have seen with our eyes, which we have looked upon and our hands have handled of the word of life. In this, the children of God are manifest and the children of the devil. Whosoever doeth not righteousness is not of God. Neither he that loveth not his brother. For this is the message that ye have heard from the beginning, that we should love one another. She's free now, Gabe. Really free. Let's go home, Daniel. <laughs>